Storage apocalypse. He's upon us. He's upon us. He's upon us. That's right. Google Drive, Dropbox have totally changed their storage tiers, and it's really going to devastate the industry. Don't believe me? They just tried to raise my price from $250 a month to $10,000 a month. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the current crisis that a lot of creators are facing in online storage. I'm gonna tell you my story as a creator and then tell you a little bit about maybe some of the things that we can do going forward to make sure this doesn't happen again as an industry. So Google Drive um, recently sent an email out earlier in the year where they told everyone, hey, listen, we're getting rid of this unlimited storage tier. And, and basically how that worked is you could upload as much as you wanted to the cloud. I've been using it for over 10 years. I have 480 terabytes up in Google Drive and it's been great. I connected to my NAS. It's a big part of our workflow. We have our video files up there, finished videos, raw videos, all our docs, graphics, headshots, even sheets and forms are up in Google Drive. It's a really important part of our business. Well, it was a really important part of our business because when they made this change, I realized I was not gonna probably be continuing to use this long term. Now we signed a multiple year contract with them, so I figured, hey, they're gonna honor our contract into spring of 24. Well, it became apparent pretty quickly that they were not going to honor this contract. So I started reaching out to Google, and this is my story. I started reaching out and asking them, hey, listen, what could we do? How do we, you know, what's the new price? And this is when I knew things were problematic because instead of offering me a price, they made me go do the math. They sent me to a website. Well, I'm reading this website and I'm like, this is not gonna be right. Our current pricing on Google Drive is something like $250 a month for 11 users and that's unlimited storage. The price to just buy pulled 500 terabytes of storage from Google was something like 12 grand a month. The other option is I could buy like 80 users total, which would be about $36 a user and cost me about $2,800 a month. Now that's cheaper, but you think about how ridiculous it is that I would have to set up 80 email accounts to get what I had before. So I look at the pricing and I say, hey, this isn't gonna work. Uh, we're gonna be moving on. So I call them and I say, hey, listen, we have a lot of data. We just need to get this data transferred. And so I even go to them and say, hey, I know that you offer cold storage. So a little education. So essentially there's two types of storage. There's cold storage and there's hot storage. Hot storage is about access and speed. You need it right away. You can go download it whenever you want. You can get typically faster download speeds and things like that. Cold storage is for archival purposes. They might have rules on how much you can download the files and it might take a really long time to get them. So I knew a lot of these files that I had, they didn't need to be in hot storage. They were older files, files for older clients. I didn't want to lose them, but I was willing to put them in cold storage. I asked them, hey, I know you sell this. Maybe we can migrate my data over there, blah, blah, blah. Google was not interested in helping with that. They weren't even really interested in selling me the other plans. And so this kind of begins this process of multiple phone calls with Google and multiple emails with Google where Google would pretty much say, hey, we're gonna call you back in 24 hours, so we're gonna set up a meeting. And they literally never, ever did what they said they were gonna do. I have one email where they said, hey, in 24 hours, we're gonna get back to you. They didn't get back to us for 12 days. And why am I complaining about this? Because I don't wanna just be some online Karen who's complaining about companies and calling customer service, and let me speak to your manager. Honestly, I'm upset about it because they knew there's a timer clicking away on my end to deal with the problem. And they literally purposely slowed it down so that my account got locked down. All my Google documents are locked down. All my Google Sheets are locked down. My forms are broken and I can't upload any content. And that's upsetting to me because they're the ones who made it take so long. And they're the ones who obstructed the whole process and they're the ones who had no solution. I was willing to potentially pay more money, pay for a service, whatever it took. I know for a fact that they don't want accounts like mine because you can't even buy the amount of seats that I would need to keep the amount of storage. That's right. If you go online, I think you can buy maybe 10 users at a time. Now, if you go through 
the account so you can buy more. I think it was something like 35 users, but they admitted to me and such on Google that I could not buy 80 seats in a whack and get that amount of storage in Google Drive. And that, pretty annoying. This is the maddest I've ever been. It's pretty annoying when a company that you've been loyal to abandons you and abandons an entire market segment with these aggressive, greedy practices. I'm not expecting them to keep unlimited storage forever, by the way. It upsets me that they didn't offer any kind of solution. They didn't say, hey, we can offer you this for this price. We can help you do this. Like there was literally no help. They would just come back to me and say, oh, you can get more users. And I would say to them, no, I can't. Yes, you can. Look at how much storage they have, which they wouldn't even bother looking at. And then they would admit every time, oh, I guess you can't do this. The way that they wasted my time, the way that they're wasting probably your time, and honestly, the way that they've treated the valuable files that are just invaluable to so many of my couples and invaluable to me as a business is really upsetting. And um, I gotta admit, I feel betrayed. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous to say you feel betrayed by one of the largest evil corporations in the world. Sorry, Google, I know you own YouTube, but screw you. Dropbox wasn't much better, by the way. At one point, up until I think August of 23, offered unlimited storage. It used to be similar to Google's in terms of how it was structured, but as people left Google and started joining Dropbox, Dropbox was running out of space on their servers. So they quickly made a change where they said, we got unlimited storage, you just have to request it every month and we'll give you some more. Now that didn't fly with video creators who are buying something and getting five terabytes. I mean, if you're a video creator, five terabytes is almost nothing. And so they got rid of that plan as well. So they no longer offer unlimited storage either. Oh, okay, I see what you did there. I'll reiterate, I understand. I understand that companies just can't offer something that they can't offer. What upsets me is how unhelpful they have been, how they have blatantly tried to get us off their platforms in favor of normies and keeping people who maybe make them a little bit more money um, and haven't really valued the fact that we've been using their service at a high level for so many years. They literally didn't care about us and they abandoned us. And I'm pretty frustrated. And honestly, I hope someone raises up a class action lawsuit against these companies because it's pretty upsetting to have to deal with this crap. It's pretty upsetting to know that someone created something to exclude you and didn't offer any solution. So what do we do? Because bottom line is we got storage and we have to do something about it. Well, what I'm gonna do is buy a gigantic NAS, 24 bays or so, and just fill it with storage. And honestly, do my very best to not have to deal with these platforms anymore. Um, we'll probably deal with it for in season work like the current season but all the archival stuff eventually i'll probably put it in something like amazon glacier which is a archival storage cold storage solution um, long term and that's probably what we'll end up doing i think the lesson for most wedding filmmakers though is don't build on a rented channel and take storage seriously you know make sure that you're on top of this stuff because there's nothing more valuable to you and your couples than the files that you have. And I honestly think, I know it's frustrating, it's not the sexy stuff, it's not shooting, it's not making six-figure income, it's not work-life balance or any of that stuff that people love to talk about. Creators love this stuff. Once you start talking about technical stuff, they're out. Nerd alert! But I gotta tell you guys, this is the difference maker and it really separates the pros from the Joes. And honestly, I would hate for you or your clients to lose any of this valuable memories, any of these valuable pieces of art that you've created. Hopefully the future is brighter for us. Hopefully a solution comes along that we can all use. But until then guys, stay tuned, Wedding Film School, subscribe, hit the bell. And of course, we got all kinds of wedding filmmaking education that we're trying to do very regularly. So thank you so much. Hopefully next time we're talking in a better situation. <laughs>